Hi, let us understand how to use Kaniko with Scaffold. Kaniko is a tool which will help to build images within Kubernetes. Say for example, if I have a Docker file, I can provide the Docker file to Kaniko and Kaniko executor container will get started within the Kubernetes environment and the executor will generate the image and push the image into the location that we are referring to. And we can use Minikube as the cluster or we can use a cloud build as the build environment for Kaniko. Within cloud build, the Kaniko container would get created and that's going to do the build using Kaniko. Let's see both the examples. First, we are going to discuss with using the Kaniko as a part of Minikube. As a part of the Kaniko samples, I do have a file called scaffold.yaml file. Within scaffold, I have mentioned the build to be used using Kaniko. And I need to mention the secret file for Kaniko to log into the repository where it needs to push the image. For that, we are going to use the secret that we downloaded as a part of Google Cloud Platform for the earlier project. I have copied this particular file gcp.json which we used as a part of the Google application credentials and created a file with the name kaniko-secret and kaniko-secret.json. I created a couple of files from gcb.json, one file with the name kaniko dash secret and another with the name kaniko dash secret.json. Both the files are exact copy of gcb.json and using this specific file, I will be creating Kubernetes secret with the command kubectl create secret using the specific file kaniko dash secret and the name of the secret is kaniko dash secret. Already we created, so it's giving the message, the secret is already existing. And since I will be requesting the Kaniko to push the image into the Google artifact repository, I'm going to provide the credentials, Google application credential as this particular JSON file. How to download? We demonstrated in the earlier demo. Please do refer to that. This is the artifact registry I will be using. Within it, I do have a repository called my-gcp-docker-repo. As a part of the scaffold YAML file, since I have provided the Google credentials, scaffold can add the images into that repository. So I will be providing the default repository as a part of scaffold dev. In case if you wanted to provide a different repository, you can create the secret for that specific repository and push it into them. And when the scaffold is getting executed, automatically it's going to create a container or a pod for Kaniko within Minikube. To watch that, I am going to use the watch command with the kubectl pods, that is kubectl get pods dash dash watch. This will keep watching what are all the pods that are available in the system. At present, there are no pods. Now let me go ahead and execute the scaffold dev. Now I do have the record credentials and the secrets. Let me go ahead and execute the command scaffold dev. So I'm providing scaffold dev with the default repo and the URL of the repo as available within Google Cloud Platform. Once the execution is started, this is going to check whether the image is available. The image is not available. And it will create a container for Kaniko to do the build of images. So the image got initialized and it, has, and it is in the running state. Once it is in the running state and the image is available, it will be pushed into the repository. And the Kaniko container will get terminated and the container for the application that is getting started Kaniko will get into running state. And the application is up and running. Now let me modify the content of the file for test purpose. Once the file is saved, automatically the change would be recognized and the same process will be repeated. It's going to create a container for Kaniko and the container will be used to do the build of the image and the new pod would get deployed. The biggest advantage with Kaniko is we are going to offload the entire workload of generating or building the image into the container running within Kubernetes. 
So the developer's machine will not get loaded while generating or building the images. This will be very helpful when we are doing the build or development of a huge project where the generation of the images is going to take or consume huge amount of resources. So in a quick summary, we learned about what is Kaneko and how to leverage it along with the scaffold to offload the load into the Kaneko container running within Kubernetes. In this example, we use the Minikube that is running as a part of our system. We can make use of Google Cloud Build as well that we will be seeing it in the next lecture.